hey, this is Raymaster GX Pokemon, the Pokemon XY guy. And we'll be opening up three Pokemon Lost Thunder booster packs that I got at the end of my pre-release that I went to. And then I'll be showing you guys my pre-release deck that I won three out of three games with. Now we're going to open these three Lost Thunder Pokemon booster packs. And I'm really excited to get these packs cracked open. So first pack features Lugia on it. And by the way, Lugia GX is actually in the set. And I really like the artwork on that Lugia Legend card from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I really like the artwork on that card. Okay. Here's the code for you guys. Hopefully you guys get some amazing uh, pulls in those codes. But the only thing is though, I don't believe you guys will be able to redeem those codes until Lost Thunder officially releases, which is November 2nd. So the pack starts off with Picky Pack. Slugma, Poplio, Litleo, Yamask, Water Type Energy, Memory Energy, and that's actually a nice new special energy. That's actually a pretty cool energy. Kecleon, Lampent, ooh, and Elise Lusamine Prism Star. Nice. So we got an amazing Prism Star. This uh, Prism Star was actually not mentioned on the Pokemon.com site yet. Nice, so we got a Prism Star to start the first pack. In a Verizon GX! Oh my gosh! So we got a double pack. Awesome. A Prism Star right into a Verizon GX. And I really like Verizon GX because it's actually one of the Swords of Justice. Of course, the Swords of Justice is Terrakian, Cobalion, and Verizon. And then the new one, which is Keldeo. But really amazing. I really like Verizon GX. I remember Verizon in the Pokemon uh, Mute movie. Kieran versus the Sword of Justice. But wow, what an amazing card. I actually really wanted to pull this card. A really epic Gen 5 Pokemon. And we'll go ahead and just sleeve those up just really quickly. But man, can't really beat that going right from a Prism Star to a GX. We're so really amazing. Okay, so second pack with featuring Selby on it. And by the way, Selby Prism Star is actually in this set. Really like Selby, pretty cool. Po Selby is actually in Pokemon Go. I don't think I'll be able to see this pack art. And this set actually really reminds me of Ancient Origins, the amazing Pokemon set Ancient Origins, and it's an XY series set. Here's a code for you guys. Ooh, and it's a white color code card. That's a good sign. Okay. But yeah, it really reminds me of XY Ancient Origins because XY Ancient Origins featured Tyrantar EX Sceptile EX and um, and Tyrantar EX and Lugia EX. And this set features Lugia GX, Tyrantar GX, and Sceptile GX. Ooh, and a choice helmet. And a Nognadel Prism, uh, not Prism, but a Nognadel Hollow. Nice. Okay, so final pack. Lacephalon GX. I mean, the Lacephalon on the pack art. But yeah, the set really reminds me of um, Pokemon X Fight Ancient Origins. And also, by the way, I really wish that Mega, I really wish that Mega Sceptile and Mega Tyrantar were in the set because they were in Pokemon XY Ancient Origins. And by the way, um, Mega Tyrantar is in my background, by the way. Okay, here's the code for you guys again. And again, I don't believe you guys can redeem those codes until November 2nd, but you can always try. Okay, and the pack starts off with Cyndaquil, a pretty cool Gen 2 starter, Scyther, Stunfisk, Chikorita, Alola Meowth, Lightning Type Energy, Vespaquin, Heracross, Heracross, I mean, <laughs> Pinsir, Dedenne, a nice Gen 6 Pokemon, remember that Pokemon in the XY TV series, and Zebstrika, nice, and I actually like this for a haul because it reminds me of the Pokemon Black and White games. So to summarize, we got actually some really epic pulls. I actually got more epic pulls than I expected out of three packs. Okay, so out of these three packs, we got a Knock and a Del Hollow. Pretty nice. A Lusamine Prism Star. And my favorite card that we pulled from this opening, the Verizon GX. And by the way, I want to show you guys two cards that I actually pulled from my actual pre-release box. 
and that was the Caesar, Caesar Hollow and the Xerneas Prism. And Xerneas Prism is actually my favorite prism of all time because Xerneas reminds you of the Pokemon XY TV series. But really awesome. So all together we got all three of these cards plus the Pokemon uh, Lost Thunder pre-release card that we got. Some amazing pools. And here's a layout of my entire pre-release deck that I built at my pre-release. And this deck is actually really strong for a pre-release deck. And also, of course, you're very limited with the cards that you can use in your pre-release deck because you can only use the cards that you pull out of your pre-release box. And you have a very limited amount of time that you can um, that you have to build your deck. And my four main attackers in this deck were actually Giratina, Primarina, Noggintel, and Xerneas Prism, which is actually my favorite attacker in this deck. And this Giratina card right here is what was actually really good because of its Shadow Impact attack. It does 130 damage, which is absolutely massive damage for a pre-release deck, and but you do put four damage counters on one of your Pokemon, which isn't the best. And it's also Distortion Door ability is pretty good as well. It says once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench. If you do, put one put one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon, so it could be used as sort of like a snipey type deck. And then Xerneas Prism, which is actually really good with his Bright Horns attack does 160 damage, actually very, very good. And then also when you move this Pokemon from your bench to the active Pokemon spot, you can put move any number of energy from Prism Star, I mean from Xerneas, from your bench Pokemon to Xerneas Prism Star, so you can power it up basically right away. And obviously I have Poipool just to get to Nogadadel. Nogadadel is actually really good because it says once during your turn, you may attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon, and of course that's its ability. So it can be used as an acceleration energy type deck. Pretty cool, and its attack is also pretty good as well. And I have two Natu, and two Zatu. And then I have two Poplio, and two Brione to get to Primarina. And Primarina is actually really good because like Naganadel, it actually helps accelerate energy because when you attach an energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon, you may attach two energy cards instead of one. So if you use this ability and Naganadel's ability, you can actually attach three energy cards in one turn, which is absolutely massive and really good. And that actually helped me out a lot. And then we got Nest Ball, Timer Ball, Adventure Bag, Choice Choice Helmet, Mixed Herbs, and I actually use this to heal my Giratina from a special condition, so pretty good. Oops, and I do have two of those Mixed Herbs. Spell Tag, probably put this on Giratina. Tate and Lie is a very good supporter card. And TV Reporter, and it says, draw three cards and discard a card from your hand. If you have no cards in your deck, then you can't play this card. And this is actually pretty good because you can draw three cards, plus if you have, um, if you have Garatina in hand, you can actually discard Garatina so you can activate Garatina's ability. And of course, Garatina's ability, I mean, of, of course, Garatina, when Garatina attacks, it does 130 damage, but of course you put, uh, you put four damage counters on your own Pokemon, but if you have Bayonet GX, then you can move those damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. Sightseer, Underground Expedition, Kahili, and then I have five Psychic Energy, five fairy energy, and then three water energy. And there's my deck. And before I let you guys know what cards are gonna be in Lost Thunder, I just wanna show you guys this really epic unknown card from Lost Thunder, because it has one of the most unique abilities I've actually ever seen. And because this card, if this, po if this Pokemon is in your Pokemon active Pokemon spot, and if you have 35 or more cards in your hand, you automatically win the game. So that is such an epic ability because it'd be so cool to actually win a game by getting 35 cards in your hand. It'd be like so cool. And also the Verizon GX that we pulled earlier in this opening would actually pair very nicely with this unknown card right here because it, Verizon's double draw attack says draw two cards. And of course, um, there's also a lot of other cards that could be paired with this unknown card to help you get those 35 cards in your hand to win the game, but we're not really gonna go in too much into that right now. 
But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that, and I actually am thinking about possibly building an unknown deck based around this card, because it'd be just so epic to win by getting 35 cards in your hand. Just wanted to point one more thing out with, uh, with the artwork, because the ability says hand, and by the way, it shows the H unknown, A unknown, N unknown, and D unknown for hand, so really epic. Just wanted to show, you that, show that you guys. Lost Thunder is actually the largest Pokemon TCG expansion that has ever released, and this uh, Lost Thunder also has 214 cards in the set, excluding secret rares and not counting reverse hollows. This set has 13 GXs and 7 Prism Star cards, and more than 20 different trainer cards. And according to Pokemon.com and Pokebeach, 11 of the 13 GX cards in this set are Lugia GX, Genesect GX, Tyrantar GX, Verizon GX, we pulled that one in this opening, uh, Sceptile GX, Sigilyph GX, Zero Aura GX, Blacephalon GX, Mimikyu GX, Alola Ninetales GX, and Mag Cargo GX. And then the seven Prism Star cards in this set are my favorite, Z uh, Xerneas Prism Star, and then Life Forest Prism Star, Celebi Prism Star, Ditto Prism Star, Thunder Mountain Prism Star, Heat Factory Prism Star, and Lusamine Prism Star. And here's a sneak peek of how the Pokemon Lost Thunder Booster Box looks like. Really epic. It features Zorua and Lugia, and also Selby and Acephalon. And here's the back. And of course, my favorite artwork from this set would be the Lugia pack art. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe and smash that like button. This is Raidmaster GX Pokemon, the Pokemon XY guy, and I'll catch you all in the next one.